Hello everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. Today I want to show you how to create automations to send a notification to your email based on a custom form. Uh, a, lot of per, a lot of people have been asking this and I'm being uploading more videos soon but I've just been very busy doing some projects. So just be patient with me but I'll definitely try to get to you. Uh, okay, so let's get started. So let's say you already have a website and you just need to connect your form uh, Or if you're someone new that's creating a new form, this is also going to help you uh, So let's first go into where it says developer mode If this is your first time make sure you turn this option on because what it will do is It will give you this option for input. So you'll be able to add a uh, input uh, field so you can add your custom form uh, for anybody that's already new uh, you can skip this part we're literally just going to create the form but the most important part is knowing how to set the data set uh, in the collection to be able to get to uh, the automations to work if you don't do it right then you're going to have a problem so uh, let's go into this. So the first thing is we're going to create a form. It's going to be very easy and simple just because we're trying to uh, be efficient here. So we're going to add an email, last name, phone number, uh, and last name. Okay, so this one is going to be name, and then this one is going to be last name. And this one will set it as email. And then this one, we're going to set it as phone number. Now, whenever you're creating a form, make sure to, if it's an email or phone number, to make sure people don't write the wrong uh, information in it because it can happen. Uh, on email, go to the settings. And then right here where it says type, make sure you select email. So that way, if they put, let's say, um, some other symbol that it's not the at, then you will not, you will still gonna give them an error, so they will have to fix it. And then for the phone number, same thing. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna do uh, phone number, so that way, if they type a letter, it won't, it will give them an error. Uh, so last, we we're just gonna add a button, and then right here. Our phone is pretty much completed. Now we're gonna create the collection. If you already have a collection, this is important that you decide what you're gonna be doing because uh, any collection has to be done as a form submission. If you don't have it as a form submission, it's not gonna work. So we're gonna go to manage content. We're gonna create a new collection and we're gonna name this, let's say, job application, okay? Now, once you do this, you're gonna go where it says additional settings and see where it says set permissions for collections. You're gonna name it form submission. Once you do that, then in this case, we're gonna already make sure it's published because we're gonna use it right away and then we're gonna create. Okay, so once you do that, it's gonna create a collection for you. It's gonna take a few seconds and you don't need these options, you can use them, but uh, in this case, we're just gonna hide these two because we don't need that. Um, the publish day and the draft day. Uh, the title, you can use it, depends on how long and big your form is. This is uh, something you can't change, so it stays as a title. Uh, but this one, we're gonna add as a name. We're gonna leave the field as text. And then we're also gonna add a last name. Also, we'll leave it as a text. And then the next one is going to be phone number. On phone number, I will also leave it as a text just because uh, <clears throat> I might change in the future. I might do other things, so I'll just leave it as a text. But definitely because of the setting on the form is as a number, they won't be able to add any letters. So save. Uh, but to it's totally up to you. Then email, we'll also leave it as text. Now, in this case, we didn't add a description, but if you add a description, uh, depends on, and we're gonna add it here because it won't affect on our form. 
uh, depends if you want them to be able to change the font, the size of the text, you can do rich text. But if it's just a normal text uh, submission, you can just leave it like that. And then uh, we didn't add it, so it's there. So now we have everything ready. This message is right here because you have to publish the site in order for this to work. So we're going to close this. We can publish now. And then make sure if you have any other um, work going into your page that it doesn't get messed up because you're going to make it live. But once we do that, now we can connect our form. So we're going to go to Content Manager. We're going to go where it says Main, Add Content Elements. And then here we can select Form Data Set. Uh, then we're going to go to Settings. We're going to find our new uh, collection, which was Job Application. And then it's going to stay as Write Only. This doesn't matter. And then everything stays like that. So we're going to close that on Name going to connect it to job application, right? And then this is going to be name. This will be last name. This one's going to be email. Well, email. And this one is going to be phone number. Okay. And now uh, once you have that, now the button, it's very important. When you connect to the data set, uh, make sure that once you click here, it's going to select Submit. Now, there's two options that can happen here. One is that once the person submits a, um, what's it called, submits a form, you can give them a success message on the page or you can have them send somewhere else where you have a thank you page. And that's very important to know because let's say after they submit something, you want them to book an appointment and you can send them to your calendar or somewhere uh, that's going to be used for you other than just giving them like a message like thank you, right? So you can guide that user to do other things after they give you their information. So to do that, you can go here when successful, navigate to, and then you're going to click a link. And then once you select a link, choose where, right? So you can send them to a page in your website. So if you created a thank you page, or if you have a web address, let's say it's a Calendly or Google account, whatever it is, you can paste here the URL and then done, and it should be good. But if that's not something you want to do, we can just leave it as stay on this page, add a success message and a failure message. So we can make sure we add this here. And the reason why you want to give them this uh, message is that way they know the, the, the form got submitted and an error if something is wrong. And also it helps you, um, you know, when you're testing to see if it's working or not. So once everything is there, we can click publish. And now we can see the page uh, test and make sure it works. OK, so we're going to add, for example, we're testing this. And then let's say my last name, it's bids. And then let's say I do testing.com. And then a phone number. And then sent. Okay, it works, right? So I submit the data. So now what I'm going to do is I created my form, the collection is set. Now I can create my automation. Okay, so how do you create an automation? First, once you're on the editor, right, um, you're going to go where it says uh, site, and you can click my dashboard, and it will take you back to your dashboard. Now, right here, you want to look for this option that says automations. And once you're on automations, you're going to see this button that says new automation. And then we're going to name this. So let's say the automation is for the job application uh, collection, correct? This is a custom form. So you're going to select this option, which says Wix data forms. And then it says visitor submits custom form. If they submit any custom form that it's on the page, if let's say you have multiple ones, then you can leave it as any form. But in this case, we want to be specific form. So we want to make sure we select the job application collection, right? So this is the one that we uh, have. 
and then we can click apply. Once we do that, then we can get a notification, right? And you have other options. Uh, you can also add data to a Google Sheets. This is very cool because then anything that it's on that form can be added somewhere else. Uh, in this case, you can also create a task within weeks. For example, if you want to add a new, uh, if you're using the, uh, it's called the funnels inside the, the pipeline inside weeks, then you can come here and make sure you create it. Uh, which is going to be under, let's see, I don't see it here, um, but it should be a, a pipeline within Wix. And we can talk about that in the next video, but I just want to make sure that you know that you can create tasks within your, your account. Uh, also, if you want to be like connecting it to Sapier, if you have Sapier, and then in this case, we just want to have something simple, which is just let us know that someone submitted information. So get a notified notify by email. And then uh, once we do that, then we can go here and then <clears throat> we can type our email, right? In this case, you can type just in, uh, uh, my email.com, right? So you can do many things and then the name that you wanted to say uh, was triggered visitor submitted a custom form or you can also say uh, <clears throat> there's a new submission uh, new job application and then here uh, if it's for let's say some people are using the same email, multiple people use the same email, you can also put a message so they know what it is. Uh, a new submission has been, I don't know, uh, completed. Please uh, verify information. All right, so whatever the message is, and then you want it to be immediately, and then once you do that, you just click activate. And now we can test uh, test this. So we're going to go back to our form. And we're going to do uh, bits one more time. Bits. And then here we can do bits at email.com. Then my phone number, for example. Now we're going to submit. Now we should be getting an email. So let's see what it is. Okay, so after um, after I submit the application right here, then I got this notification. So it says new job application, new submission has been completed. Please verify information. Right. So as you can see, it works. And you can do these automations for anything. Uh, so if you create a new automation, uh, let's say there's a new members area. So you can uh, change this something like new member. And then the same thing, uh, member logs into your site or visitor signs up as a new member. So you can click that. You can also send an email uh, to contact or get notified by email. So depends on what you want to do. This is useful if you want to, after somebody signs up and you want to send them some kind of welcome message, this is very useful. But if you just want to know what it is, and you can create as many as you want, but after a certain, uh, certain amount of automations, then you have to upgrade to this ascent plan because uh, you have only like two automations, but once you upgrade, you can get as many as you need. So hopefully this video was useful. And if you have questions, you need help, just let me know. I'll be very happy to do so.